quick tips. This is a um, a lesson on financial maths, but you're gonna look at outstanding balance on a loan. So there are actually two methods of doing this question. I'm gonna show you both, and then we're gonna decide which one works for you better in an exam. Okay, the question says a loan of sixty thousand is paid over a period of five years by one thousand two hundred and sixty twelve cents equal monthly payment at an interest rate of 9.5 per annum compounded monthly. Then the question says, determine the balance outstanding on the loan after three years. Now they're asking you that this person is gonna pay this loan for five years. Then after three years, after he has paid three for three years, how much is left that uh, he has to pay? So that will be the outstanding balance. Out. The balance is equals to so you're gonna write outstanding balance and then you're gonna use two formulas you're gonna use the grade 11 formula of compound interest and use the grade 12 formula of future V so your outstanding balance you'll get by using the grade 11 formula which is 1 plus I N Minus the grade 12. With both formulas, both of them are in your formula sheet. Please don't write them off your head. Because your head will not be in order during the exam. Take the formula sheet and copy them out. So this is the um, compound interest for grade 11. And then the, 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 the future value for grade 12. So the formula goes X. Then open bracket. And then it's 1 plus and well, you see, I need to use the formula sheet. Okay, I, I you really need to get the formula sheet. I thought I, I got this and I've, I've done it wrong. This part is wrong. So, in the formula sheet, it's 1 plus i to the power n minus 1, close bracket, everything divided by i. Right, now... The P is the total amount that you, the, you of the loan, sixty thousand. One plus interest is the interest that you're given. Always write the interest in decimals, and then compound it monthly. How many months in the year? Twelve. Then the N. Is the number of payments that you have uh, paid determine the balance outstanding on the loan after three years so you take your calculator you say what is three years in months so it's three times 12 which is 36 so your n is 36 minus your x is the payment that you pay bits 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 the payments that you pay monthly twelve thousand six hundred then you have one plus interest zero comma zero nine five over twelve and then your n same as the one on the other side minus one over the interest right when you get here you take your calculator you punch everything in your calculator then the next thing that you're going to write is the is the answer so you're going to punch 60,000 open bracket 1 plus fraction 0 0.095 over 12 then we close the bracket we do the power then we do 36 then you do you you go out of that you go minus then is the um, compound is the future value formula then you go fraction 12,600.12 open bracket Open bracket again, fraction 
0, 0,095, 12, 12, close bracket, then x power, 86, then go out of that, minus 1, and then close bracket, go down in the fraction, then fraction 0, 0,0965, no, there's no 6, and 5, go down, 12. Now, when you, when you press your equal sign and then it gives you error, it doesn't mean that there's a mathematical error or anything is undefined. No. You probably didn't close one of the brackets. So you go back and you check for which bracket you didn't close. You are pro probably there's a bracket that you didn't close. Then there, there'll be, there, you'll have the error thing there. Okay. Okay. And your answer will be 27,444.40. cents. And then you write your answer. Cents. Right, what is nice about financial meds is that for everything, for that you'll get a mark, for that you'll get a mark, for that you'll get a mark. Even if your answer becomes wrong, um, you, 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 you get marks along the way. So don't panic that much. It's just that you need to practice, practice, practice and get these values correct. Then you'll get marks. Okay, let's look at the second method of finding the outstanding balance the second method for outstanding balance um you you would you, the difference between the two methods is the first one you use the future value this one you use the present value so it will be outstanding balance and then you go to your formula sheet you write the present value formula the present value in your formula sheet, it will have a P. So go to your formula sheet, write it out. Please, uh, but you just saw, I tried to write it out of my head. I got it wrong. And I'm not writing an exam right now. So you are 90%, 99.9% going to write it wrong. If the formula is wrong, everything becomes wrong. Right, right. now, what, what, the difference between the two formulas is that with this formula you would have all the values you have all the values except for n you have to calculate your n right now let's write the other values um you don't need this p because this will be the outstanding amount so it will be the outstanding amount equals to then the formula right so this x is the money that you'll be paying every month which is 1260 12 rand. Then the the 1 minus 1 plus the interest it's 0, 0,095 divide by 12 for the 12 months and then you come to n. With your n, the total number of 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 payments it was 5 years. So it's 60 payments that you'll have if you were paying for 5 years and you're paying every month. So you'll have 5 times 12 because you have 12 months in a year. So you'll have 60 years. No, not 60 years. 60 months. You'll be paying for 60 months. So after 3 years, 3 years is minus 3 times 12. Which you'll be left with 24 payments that you still have to pay. So your N, instead of being 36 like we did in the future value formula, your N will be 24. But with the present value formula, your n has a negative, so don't forget that. So you'll get negative 24 divided by your interest is 0 0.095 over 12. Then you punch everything in your calculator. And then you will have fraction 1260,12 open bracket. 1 minus open bracket 1 plus fraction 0, 0.095 go down 12 close bracket power minus 
24. Right here. That's where you, most people make a mistake. Forgetting to close that bracket. If you do that, it will give you an error. But don't worry in an exam. Go back and check. Where? Which bracket is not closed? Right? And then you go answer. And your answer is 27,444,929. Right. When you look at these two answers, they are slightly different. It's because this has been rounded off. When you calculate for the X, it will have digits. So use those, those, those use the whole digits. Because in an exam, they're, they're going to ask you to calculate the X first, the monthly payment first. So that's why the other one, the, 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 the decimals are not exactly the same. Okay. Now, why would you use this method compared to the first one? It depends on your brain. If your brain can, can remember the whole, that one had two formulas, which is harder. Now, with this one, you just needed to remember to minus. Don't use the 36, uh, that, 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 the payments that are left. Remember to minus the 36 from the total and get the 24. So that's the difference between the two formulas. For me, this is the easier one compared to the other ones. But you are not me. For you, find out which one is the easier one and use that one in the exam. Thank you for watching. I hope you, if you have not subscribed, I go. I will go the pen. Please do subscribe. And then uh, we will we'll give you some more videos. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.